This video will show you how to make a microfluidic device. First, we cut a rectangular plexiglass plate using a saw or a 3D milling machine. Then, we make a Y-shaped pattern on the parafilm membrane using a PC-controlled cutting tool. When we align the membrane with the plate, we mark the positions of the inlets. Next, two holes are drilled using a drill press. To create inlets of the microfluidic device, we use two syringe needles to fix the barb fittings through the holes, and then glue them on the top plate using an epoxy glue. Once the glue solidifies, we are ready to assemble the microfluidic device. Now we have a top plate with two inlets, parafilm membrane with a Y-shaped pattern as the channel, and a microscope slide. The three layers are then assembled. Fastened by binder clips with two pieces of micro slides for cushioning and heated on a hot plate for three minutes until the translucent parafilm membrane turned transparent. After cooling the system at ambient conditions, the resolidified parafilm membrane acts as an adhesive and secures the two plates firmly. Now we have made a microfluidic device ready to use. There are various uses of microfluidic devices. The research in our group involves the study of precipitation reactions in the microfluidic device. In a typical experiment, the channel is initially filled with DI water, and then two syringes containing the reactant solutions, sodium hydroxide and cobalt chloride in this example, are connected to the barb fittings. After the syringes are discharged using a programmable syringe pump, a thin precipitate membrane forms at the interface of the reactant solutions in the microfluidic channel, and the precipitate membrane thickens gradually when the solutions are continuously injected into the microfluidic device.